Welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Mapaseka Mura. So, another Ebola outbreak is underway in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The first recognized case of Ebola uh, was in 1976 in the DRC, leaving 260 people dead, and now a combined 852 people have died from Ebola in the DRC. Now, the Democratic Republic of Congo is actually one of the wealthiest countries naturally in the world. It's got every mineral resource you can think of from copper to uranium um to the most dangerous such as uh diamonds and oil and now cobalt it's also rich in square mile it's the second largest country in africa and it has the second biggest river in the whole world the congo now, because wealth in Africa comes with a price, the DRC has been ravished with conflict, debt, and disease. From yellow fever to malnutrition, from cholera to HIV, you name it, and they've probably lived through it. Now, the problems in the DRC began in the 16th century when the Portuguese, according to the BBC.com, discovered disease-resistant slaves. Mm. Then the likes of France, Netherlands, and Britain uh, then engaged in that slave trade. In the 18th century, King Leopold II of Belgium then colonized the DRC and it gained its independence finally in 1960. While Western interests uh, have brought the DRC to its knees, the politicians and leaders of that country have not done it any justice either. From Patrice Lumumba to the dictator Mobutu who actually nationalized property and returned it to its previous owners. Uh, from Lieutenant Kabila to his son, Joseph Kabila, the current president of the DRC, who refuses to vacate the presidential office even though his tenure as president is over. Now, the Ebola outbreak comes just after we had shifted our attention to the DRC because of the current child mining of cobalt that is going on there. Um, cobalt is used in the making of the likes of smartphones as well as electric cars. Mm. So the World Health Organization has spoken to the DRC about using experimental drugs uh, that were used in the 2014 Ebola outbreak in West Africa. So the DRC has consented uh, to that and uh, we'll just see what happens. The funny thing is that West Africa, the DRC and the World Health Organization have a certain friend in common and that's France. Hmm. So yeah, you have this country that is extremely naturally wealthy, but it's ravaged by all these diseases and by conflict. And at the end of the day, it's the greedy politicians, uh, the Western governments, as well as multinational corporations that continue to benefit from it while the people wither day by day by day. So yeah. You draw the conclusion of what's really happening in the DRC. My name is Mapasika Mura. Use your talents to serve humanity. And I will see you soon. Soon like on a Wednesday soon. <laughs> Bye.